everybody and welcome to Math Magicians. Today we are going to be working with time. You would be surprised at how many middle schoolers cannot read an analog clock. And I know this only from teaching fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. And anytime they had to go to the bathroom, they would have to sign out on a sign out sheet so that we knew where they were. And they couldn't read the analog clock in my room to put what time they were leaving the room. So I thought maybe here we would work on our telling time skills so that when you guys get to middle school, your teachers don't wanna pull their hair out because you can't read an analog clock in middle school. So to do this project, we're gonna need two paper plates, construction paper, scissors, markers, and one of these little brad thingies that has the prongs that go through stuff. So if you pick up a make and take kit from the library, you will get the two paper plates, the construction paper and the brads. You will need to supply the markers and scissors. What uh, I did the first couple of steps here. I cut 12 pieces out of my top plate. I left my bottom plate as is, and I cut a big and small arrow out of my construction paper. I'm going to need to loosen this just a tad. I can already tell because the, the arrows need to be able to spin and I got it just too stinking tight that they can't spin. Huh. Don't know why this is not working. Let's see if that makes a difference. There we go. Okay. So it was just being kind of particular, but that's okay. So I did those steps already and I layered them. What I'm going to show you how to do in the video is how you're supposed to label everything. Now the instructions are on the blog post, but sometimes it's easier to watch a video. So the first thing that you are going to label with your markers and what color do I want to use? I think I'm going to use Purple. Purple is a good color to do my numbers in. So on every flap that you've cut, you want to write a number that corresponds with the clock. So your very top flap is going to be 12. And then going to the right and moving all around the plate, you want the number 1. On the next flap, 2 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So my plate's just a smidge crooked, but so you have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Just a tad bit off center, but that's okay. So after you have that done, you also want to write on your arrows. And I think to write on my arrows, I'll just use plain black. On the small arrow, you want to write hour. And on the long arrow, you want to write minute. 
you can always write on your arrows before you put them together. Uh, I did not, but that's okay. So I wrote hour on the tiny one and minute or on the longer one. The next thing you want to do is the whole point of this clock is to help us tell what is right on the o'clock. What is five after? What is 10 after? What is 15 after? So the reason you cut these slits in it is because when you fold down this number, it's gonna have another number underneath. It's going to have what the clock reads. So when the hour and the minute hand are both on uh, 12, it's 12 o'clock, a.m. or p.m., it doesn't matter. When the hour hand is on three and the minute hand is on 12, it's three o'clock, three, zero, zero. So this can show you by, you know, the hour is whatever this number on the outside is. But to find the minute, that's how you're gonna, what you're gonna see when you fold the flat back. So what are my minutes gonna be? I think my minutes are gonna be red. And so when, when, it's, when the minute hand is on 12, it's zero, zero. When the minute hand is on one, it's zero, five. When the minute hand is on two, it's 10. When it's on three, it's 15. When it's on four, it's 20. When it's on five, it's 25. When it's on six, it's 30. When it's on seven, it's 35. When it's on eight, it's 40. When it's on nine, it's 45. When it's on 10, it's 50. And when it's on 11, it's 55. So the goal of this clock, if you're learning and your hour hand is on five and your minute hand is on two, I'm having a little bit of trouble with my arrows. Hopefully yours won't do the same. But if the hour hand's on five and the minute hand's on two, we know that it's five o'clock, but we don't know what the minutes are. It's five ten. So hour hand, it's the outside one. Minute hand, it's what's underneath on the inside here. So that's great, but there's also four other words that we can learn in clock. Time. And I think in my other words, I'm going to write them in, I'll write them in pink, I'll write them in green. I'll do them in green. So we know that when the minute hand is on the three, it's whatever hour and 15 minutes. So right now, if it, it's five o'clock. So if it was the hour hand was on the five and the minute hand was on the three, it would be 515, but that is also quarter after. Because your clock, if you split it into four pieces like a pie, this is the first quarter. This is the first fourth, actually. Well, mine's not even. I was going to try to draw it, draw two lines, but mine's not even, so we won't do that. So, I'm going to write quarter after under your three. Above your six, you want to write half past. Because if our clock was split into four pieces, by the time we made it to six, we would have covered two fourths two quarters is one half. It's one half of the clock. When we get up to nine, we have reached quarter till because we've gone one, two, three quarters, and we only have one quarter left until we are back to the next hour. And then under 12, you just want to write o'clock because we always say it's 12 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock, it's 2 o'clock, it's 3 o'clock, it's 4 o'clock, it's 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 11 o'clock. So when the hour hand is up here, it's o'clock. 
and the minute hand is up, sorry. When the minute hand is up here, it's a clock. When the minute hand is here, it's quarter after. When the minute hand is here, it's half past. When the minute hand is here, it's quarter till. So we can learn what hour it is, which hand is hour, which hand is minute. We can learn what each number means in minutes when the, the long hand is pointing towards them. And we can also learn other math words that go along with clocks. So this can be your fun teaching and time tool. We hope you pick up a make and take kit to do it and we hope you enjoy learning about time. Can't wait to see you back at the library soon. Have a great day.